Here is a simple workout program you can do from the comfort of home, only requiring three pieces of equipment. So let's jump right into it. So starting off with our first exercise, we will be going to the floor with our adjustable dumbbells and doing a floor press. Feel free to use a bench if you want. However, I'm trying to keep this cheap as possible so I'm getting rid of the bench and we're just going to be doing straight floor presses to build a bigger chest. For exercise number two, we are moving to split squats. And for split squats, what I want you to do is start on your weaker side, try and reach to those 10 reps. And then once you reach the maximum that you can do, switch to the opposite side and try to match what you did on the first side so that you're trying to uh, match your strong side to your weak side and level everything out. Again, feel free to use a bench or a chair to do something like Bulgarian split squats, but I'm just demonstrating here by using my floor and doing standard split squats. Moving along, we need our doorway pull-up bar and we are going to be doing chin-ups. What I want you to do here is try and keep tension throughout the entire movement. Even when you get all the way to the bottom, try to still keep tension in your biceps and back as again, this is mainly a back exercise, but with the supinated grip, you should have a lot more uh, force and resistance on those biceps. Now onto exercise number four, we're going to be doing our first carry exercises, and this is going to be the front carry. Take your dumbbells and place them up in front of you by your chest, and all you're going to be doing again is walking 450 reps total to complete a set. And our last exercise is more of a corrective based exercise and hits those rear delts and back and traps, so this one is going to be the pull apart. This will require your resistance bands. I actually like to use loop style bands here, but pick your favorite and do the pull aparts to again, really help correct your posture and build stronger back and shoulder muscles. So that's it for day one. Let's move on to the next day. Remember, I recommend taking a day off in between uh, days one and I'd say three here. You can do cardio like walking or if you wanna go running or something in between, but let's move on to the next training day. So first up, we will need our dumbbells for this exercise and it's going to be front squats with those dumbbells. Get these dumbbells up in front of your shoulders, hold them in place, and then go down as low as you can into the squat while keeping good form. I recommend if you're just starting out, just go to 90 degrees and then push back to the starting position, but really focus on squeezing the glutes and quads when doing your pushing back to that standing position. And no excessive arcing here. Make sure that you stabilize through your core and glutes through the entire thing. That way you avoid injury and make sure that you pick the proper weight starting so that you can learn where you're at and then you can progress from there. Next up, we're going to be doing bent over rows. However, for this one, I'm actually going to be doing them one at a time. So one arm with the bent over row at a time. Again, starting with your weak side first and then matching with the opposite side. Try and hit 10 reps per side and then you're going to be taking that 90 second rest after each set. Now to exercise number three, we have our pushing movement and this time it's overhead with the Arnold press. So just like those front squats, get the dumbbell up in front of you, but now you're gonna flare out like going back, kind of like you're doing the pull-aparts, but then press straight overhead. This will work majority of your delts overall, but this is a great exercise, especially if you can stand up and really brace your core to get in that overhead pressing. Now for exercise number four, we're into our carry again, and this time we're just gonna be doing standard farmer's carries. So take those dumbbells in each hand, whatever way you need to do, and again, walk for 100 steps, or do your right and left for one total rep until you can hit 50 reps for each set. And again, that's three sets total. And for exercise number five, we have more of a rotation-based exercise. And now taking your dumbbells, we're gonna be doing what's called dumbbell wood choppers. So again, starting from the weak side, we're gonna bring the dumbbell down by our knees with our knees bent and then rotate up to the opposite side, kind of behind our shoulders looking back, pretending kind of like you're throwing a sandbag or something up over your opposite shoulder. You're gonna do 15 total reps on that side with that weight, so make sure you pick the proper weight. And once you do that, switch to the other side for those 15 reps. And once you do that, then you can take your 60 second break before starting set number two. Again, this is a total of three sets. All right, we've now made it through two of those resistance training days. Coming up for the next day, take that rest or do your cardio, however you wanna do it. And now let's move on to our last day of training. So first up, feel free to do this with dumbbells or with your resistance bands, but we have Romanian deadlifts. The key here is you wanna keep tension throughout your hamstrings. So you need to be bending over more while keeping your legs fairly straight throughout. Not perfectly straight, but fairly straight throughout the entire movement. I like to slow down a bit here on the eccentric 
or when I'm lowering down to the ground. That's why dumbbells can actually be a little better here when you lower down to the ground because you're keeping more tension on those hamstrings. And then you're gonna be, again, going through a hip hinge movement to stand straight back up and really engage those glutes at the top. Moving on, we're going to our push exercise and here we're just gonna be doing good old fashioned push-ups. Now, if you can really rep out a bunch of push-ups, try getting a backpack and putting some weight in there. I like to take my core fitness dumbbell place and put them in a backpack to add on more weight. You can also use push-up bars here if you'd like as well. All that additional stuff you can add into this workout. But if you don't have that, simply just use the floor and you can even slow down the reps if you need to to add more tension over time. But just make sure that you go and hit those 10 reps for all four sets. For exercise number three, we're getting out those resistance bands. And we're gonna be actually sitting on the floor with our legs straight, put the, putting the bands around our feet and then pulling the bands towards us to get that back activation. Here, I again, really love those loop style bands. For some reason, they just work really well for this exercise. But if you're like me in this video, I'm using the What It Fit tube style bands to demonstrate and they work just as well. Now we're back to our carry exercise and this time we're doing overhead carries with dumbbells. If you're like me, you need to watch out for things hanging from the ceiling, such as my ceiling fan. So if you have something in the way, make sure you pick a path where you're not gonna be running into things. Um, and make sure you, again, you hit those 50 reps or take 100 steps and then divide by two to get those 50 reps for three sets. And the last exercise to round out everything, we are gonna be doing calf raises. However, I like to do these one leg at a time. And I like to use dumbbells as well to add more resistance if you need it. So what I like to do is start again on my weak side, do as many reps as I can. You max here at 15, so, so pick a weight or maybe even your body weight up to 15 reps and then switch to your strong side and match whatever you did on your weak side. And that is one total set. Take the 60 second rest before moving on to the next set for a total of three sets. And that is it for all of the training days. So again, you're gonna have three total training days through the week. Remember to take a rest day in between each one of those days but feel free to add in something like cardio for walking, biking, running, hiking, whatever it may be, you can do on your off days. And then I like to take the next two days after that off before restarting again. So for me, this could look like something like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I work out with the resistance training, Tuesdays and Thursdays are cardio based days, and then my weekends are just walking. So that is it on this quick video. It was inspired by the one over on Athlean X. You might have noticed this is pretty similar to his, but this one's only five exercises long and made a little simpler and just using home-based equipment. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more videos just like this one. Also, make sure you head over to GamerBody.com. There you can check out my current training program, the equipment I own and use, and the information I'm learning from to continue to build muscle and confidence from the comfort of home. Again, that's it. So again, like, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.